Warrior Collective, I'm back again. It's MJ, the modern Shaolin, and we're here in the Temple Training Hall. Today, I wanted to share with you my morning routine. Today, with you guys, I'm gonna show you five of my favorite morning stretches. You guys can implement this into your day-to-day -day practice. You guys, obviously, in your own time, can do all the stretches on both sides. It's only gonna take you just under six minutes. Now, flexibility, without a doubt, is one of the most important things to focus on, not just for martial artists, but for people in general. In an ever fast growing world of people being on devices all day and at desk, our posture is terrible, and stretching out and gaining good flexibility and mobility is key to good long-lasting health. For myself, at my current age, and probably a little bit earlier than this age, I'm always more excited to train something more physical. Jumping around, using weapons, doing heavy weights, going for long distance runs, something that makes me sweat, gets me hyped up, and really gets me driven and ready to rock and roll. Flexibility has always taken a back seat, which in turn has led to me not having the best of flexibility, and in turn has made some of the movements I do enjoy a struggle because my flexibility is limited. So what I've found is stretching in the morning whilst watching something motivational on TV is the way forward. During lockdown, I was with my son and pretty much every day for an hour before we got to the physical practice, we'd throw on some cartoons from Dragon Ball, Thundercats and other cartoons that inspired us to train and we would watch these and stretch. We would hold our stretches from anything from three to five minutes, depending on how tight we were on that day. So actually we would only do about 15 stretches and this would take about 47 minutes to an hour, again, depending on how long we held each stretch. Today with you guys, I'm gonna show you five of my favorite morning stretches. You guys can implement this into your day-to-day -day practice and it's only gonna take you just under six minutes. We're gonna do each stretch for a minute, I'm gonna have like a 10 second switch over period where we get into the next pose. The first one, very straightforward, very simple. We're gonna be on our knees. In this position, we're gonna be stretching right here, our ankles, our knees, our quads, our calves, and we just sit. And for some people, even this position can be quite tight. You can just sit upright, you can put a pillow under, under your legs there and just sit in this position until eventually you're able to sit pretty comfortably. And again, you may or may not be um, as flexible or more flexible than me, but the goal with this one will be to slowly lay yourself down. So for me, I'm about here, or maybe I can lay down at the moment. Yeah, I can get to about here and just hold this stretch. Again, if you find that super challenging, you can just stay in an upright position. And what I like to do while I'm in these positions, just chilling, watching something, is maybe stretch my wrists out as well. And I do a lot of finger training, so I might even start to initiate some finger practice just by bouncing on the fingers, get those joints loose as well. I actually don't have a timer on me, which is okay. I'm just gonna do it off the top of my head, but you guys can go ahead and pause the video and obviously do a minute of each stretch. The next one, we're gonna go from this position, we're gonna straighten one leg behind, in this case, the left leg. We're gonna bring the right leg in front, and we're gonna go into this position, which has lots of different names, but this is a great stretch for the rear hip flexor here, which will get you set for your side splits, and really opens the outside hip on that outside leg. And when we're in this position, you can by all means lean forward, and if you lean forward, it's probably gonna stretch more than legged that is bent. If you sit upright, it's gonna put more pressure on that rear, hip, uh, that rear hip flexor. I like to have one hand on my foot, one hand on my knee. We find balance, we let the weight of our body do the work. And unlike push-ups or an exercise like push-ups, where we rely strongly on TUT, time under tension, with stretching, we don't want to rely on time under tension. In fact, it's TUR, T-U-R, time under relaxation. The more relaxed we are, the more focused we can, um, the more focused we are on our breath, we can actually relax our muscles, which in turn will allow the weight of our body to push into the muscles and open them up. The best way to do this is to not talk, is to focus on your breathing, relax your head, deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. And this is why I find doing the stretches in the morning, in particular with my son, watching TV, is the best way. Because that way, I get it in. 
if I wait until the evening and I want to play some music and light some candles and kind of create that relaxing environment, it probably is not going to happen. And if you keep waiting for tomorrow, guess what? You're just going to get older and older until you realize that tomorrow never ever comes. Today is the only day that is promised. As you know, today is the present. So use it as the gift it is and get your stretching in. You guys, obviously, in your own time, can do all the stretches on both sides. This is just a tutorial to help you understand how you can apply these stretches into your day-to-day -day routine. The next one is really good, again, for the hip flexor, building balance. We're gonna take the right leg in front. We're gonna prop ourselves up on the back knee. And ideally, right here, we wanna keep our hip line straight. So we don't wanna lean back with our left arm, we've got our right leg in front. We wanna use whichever leg we have in front, we wanna use that hand. So I've got right leg, I'm gonna use right hand, I'm gonna find my back foot. Once I've found it, I'm gonna use my left hand, come up, find my knee, find balance, straighten my hips, and hold. I don't wanna to be too narrow with my stance, because then I won't feel the stretch in the hip flexor. Instead, I wanna step forward and lean into this stretch. And again, depending on how flexible you are, you wanna hold these stretches for anything, for a minute to three to five minutes even. A minute, to be honest with you, is more just maintenance. It's just gonna warm you up a little bit for general activity. If you really wanna see progress and you wanna develop your flexibility, I feel that three minutes plus is a good marker. And if you're stiff on that side, maybe go for five minutes. I'm gonna hold this one just for a little bit longer. You can focus on your balance here. If it's too difficult, you can switch hand. And you can come here, but obviously that just opens up your hip. You want to keep your hips as straight as possible and just breathe through it. Again, don't tense and squeeze when you're looking for balance. Find a place where you're more relaxed. Focus on your breath. Deep breaths in through your nose. Out through your mouth. And just nice and relaxed. Good. The next one is really good for opening up the hips. This one is the straddle. So we're going to go into a kind of box split position where we just open our feet. And you wanna be in a more comfortable position when you do this, especially when you're warming up. You don't wanna aim for an extreme stretch, which is gonna cause you to fall backwards. And even now, you can, you can see my hips are actually rolled back, my stomach is rolled, and my hips are behind me. And I'm quite excited to share this with you guys because a lot of people think I'm super flexible um, because of some pictures they've seen of me doing crazy side kicks and bits like this and they assume that their flexibility is really bad But actually this is my normal flexibility. So if this is where you're at, you're doing great You know never doubt yourself. It's all about the journey. Just enjoy the process But right here what we can do to fix this is put our hands behind ourselves And the first thing we want to do is fix our hips. So my hip is rolled back I just want to twerk forward just here just to there. I don't want to be sitting down. This is bad posture Right, if I turn sideways, my pant line or my sash, I want my sash to be the furthest thing from me. So if I was leaning against the wall, I don't want my back touching the wall first. You see my hips? I just want to twerk and pull that forward like that. This is where I want to be when I stretch. I can, by all means, use my hands. This is absolutely fine. Don't, don't try and keep your hands up and have bad posture. This is worse. This is gonna make things worse. Don't do a stretch wrong because it's gonna be bad for you. Find where you're comfortable, push yourself up. From here, the most typical movement would be to lean forward. But again, if you're not super flexible, don't go ahead and do this. Because you're just ruining everything, right? You're just taking away the posture, you're taking away, in fact, you can barely feel the stretch when you're doing this. And you're getting a stretch by flexing your back, which right now isn't really what we wanna do. And you're here, so instead, Wherever your shoulder line is, that's where your focus should be. So straighten up the back, roll forward, have your hands in line with your shoulders and stretch forwards from here. Okay, and have your ribs open. Like take a deep breath. This is my ribs right here, my hands. Breathe in. See your ribs open. Then they close. Breathe in. Open your ribs, hands up in front and stretch forward. This right here, I can feel my hamstrings, my lower back, a hell of a lot more places than if I just do this. So keep from doing this, hands up, twerk forward and push. And just hold again, a minute, focus on your breathing. And over time, your hands will get lower, but not because your hands go down, but because your shoulders get closer to the floor. Yeah, you don't want to just be using your hands as a pivot point. 
is the hips that we're using for a pivot. The next and last stretch, again, can be done on both sides. So that one is kind of a symmetrical exercise. We just do one of those. The next one is gonna be another exercise that we do on both the left and the right side. This one is what we call the L stretch. So we go into this position where we have one leg extended in front, one leg tucked behind, and we make like this L shape position. From here, same principles apply. We don't wanna roll our back and this very common idea of head to knee, okay, which is terrible form, um, regardless if you do martial arts or not, whether it's ballet or another form of dance, we don't want to roll ourselves over when we stretch. We want to focus on posture. Stretching is all about creating mobility and flexibility, not tightening the body. So we want to open up, again, use the idea of the breath, your ribs are together, breathe in, open yourself up long, and just like before, we're going to stretch forward, not down, we're going to stretch forwards. And then you can grab your toe if you can grab your toe. If you can't, that's, you just stay up here. Don't collapse. Stay up and keep your back as straight as possible. If you can grab your foot, great. What you can also do while stretching your hamstring is pull your heel up off the floor, which is gonna stretch out the calf and give you good mobility in your ankles, which is gonna help you to not get injured when running, switching direction quickly in combat sports, if you're doing any form of acrobatics or jumping, it will really help you um, decrease the chance of injury. Stretching in general will help you decrease the chance of injury. Once you can grab your foot, you fire through these different levels. The first level is gonna be here, thumb and finger, just like a telephone. You're gonna go ahead, left leg, left arm, I've got the left thumb on my head, and the goal will be to get my pinky finger to touch my toe. I can use my right hand and pull and touch. And if you touch, you move to the next level, which is to bring that fist in. This is quite important when you're stretching because certain days you're gonna be tight, certain days you're gonna feel loose. Don't just go according to how you feel. Without a goal, you can't score. If you're playing football um, and there's no goal, well, who wins? You don't know. As soon as you put a goal down there, you want to score. Having a goal will encourage you to want to score. So give yourself a goal. So this may be your goal or touching may be your goal. I'm just gonna show you a few of the levels and you're gonna see where I am at. So, and I'm being very transparent and honest. This is where my current flexibility is. So thumb and finger, I've just done that one. Now I go thumb and fist. Thumb on the head, use the hand, grab, and see if you can get your fist to touch your toes. Wow, that one hurt a little bit, but check. Next one, we're gonna take away the thumb. Now it starts getting really tricky, and you can see where we're heading towards. So now we've got the fist. Fist on the head, and now we're gonna see if we can get the back side of the fist to touch the toes. Grab, or maybe just about my created a little bit of distance, and that's where I'll be at, so that's where I will stretch every day until I can hit that comfortably. And again, summertime, stretching every day, my flexibility will increase. Wintertime, stretching less often, more cold, my flexibility will decrease. That's absolutely okay. Sometimes it's about maintenance, sometimes it's about growth. I'm not gonna do any more, but I'm gonna show you what the next level would be. Four fingers, three, two, one, until you can get your head to touch, which is probably on this stretch, the highest level I've achieved. And then from head, it doesn't stop there. It goes eyes, nose, lip, lip, and chin. That's right. Some people can get their chin to touch their foot. There's no end to the journey. You keep stretching, and with constant training, there's always growth. That's it for my little flexibility workout, which, like I said, I do every morning with my son. If you've enjoyed, this video, check out some more of my videos that I've shot with Warrior Collective. And if you wanna see more of me, check out temple.ldn. You can also check out my website for the temple here at temple.london. And if there's anything else you guys wanna see from me, please drop a comment down below. Well, until next time, Zai Jian.